On a remote cattle ranch on the lands formation of eastern Wyoming, more than 35 students and participants can be found every summer carefully excavating the long buried bones of upper Cretaceous dinosaurs. Justin Woods is the technology coordinator for the Dinosaur Project, also known as the Dino Dig. This project is extremely important to our university, Southwestern Adventist University, because it gives us the chance to do world-class, groundbreaking, real science. Science at its very, very best. Dino Dig team members excavate more than 1,000 bones each year. A few years ago, the usual excitement reached a new pitch when the crew discovered the remains of what may be the rare species, Nanotyrannus lancensis. If we're right, this is only the third specimen of Nanotyrannus ever found in the world. What we did not expect when we started this project was the simply vast number of dinosaur bones spread over many, many, many acres. These are huge animals, and we have 25 to 35,000 of them. We have here one of the richest deposits of, of dinosaur bones in the whole world. An important part of the dino dig is to send data and photos back to the university daily, and the needed broadband connectivity initially seemed impossible to get on this remote ranch one hour from the nearest town in the least populated county of the least populated state where even cell phone service is spotty at best. Until the Dino Dig team discovered HughesNet high-speed satellite internet service. Our internet access through HughesNet is vital to our project because it allows us to back up our data off-site. We're grateful to Hughes for such amazing service. The team collects vast amounts of data, including positional information and high-resolution photographs for every bone they find. That data is the reason we're here. If we lose that data, the whole point of us being out here living in tents for a month is lost. In the scientific sense, our HughesNet internet access is just vital. In addition, we have the access to the outside world that makes it possible for people to stay here for a month at a time without being able to call home or, or uh, see their loved ones. I just have nothing but good to say about Hughes. I have a girlfriend that lives over in France, and I am currently in Wyoming, but in the middle of nowhere, Wyoming. I can talk to somebody far away without postage stamps or pigeons or anything like that. I have distance education students that need to be in contact, so they email me their assignments. If I didn't have internet out here, my family back at home would have no way to reach me at all. HughesNet has a great impact on our project in particular as we upload data every evening and then on our individual lives as uh, excavators because we can keep in contact with our loved ones. One really cool thing that we're doing this year for the first time is having daily video blogs. So the people back home can see what it's like to be here on site. The Dino Dig team has also developed innovative field techniques for recording data using high precision GPS equipment to record the position of each bone. In addition, the project has an interactive website and an online database where users can see all the data that has been collected about each bone as well as pictures in 3D. Anybody in the world could do a research project with our data as if they were holding the bones in their hands and if, as if they were here on site with us. I would just like to express my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to Hughes. I simply cannot overstate the magnitude of the contribution that HughesNet has made to this project. HughesNet, that's good stuff. And DinoDig, that's good stuff too. Not to mention an important and exciting project that Hughes is very proud to be part of. <laughs>